He is a baseball team owner, manager, and player. The odds of anyone doing all three are tremendous. But then again, Dave Clark has beaten the odds all through his life. Number four, Dave Clark. He wears the number four, but he's the number one man on the team. The entertaining Indianapolis Clowns. Yes, they do a lot of clowning around on the field. But when push comes to shove, they play a mean game of baseball. The man who keeps the clowns on their toes is Dave Clark, who lost the use of his legs to polio when he was 10 months old. But he never let that get in the way of playing his favorite sport. I kind of have a Pete Rose philosophy. Uh, I don't have all the talent in the world, uh, but I work hard and, and I build on my strengths rather than worry about my weaknesses. Running to first is just about all he can't do. His love of sports began when he first picked up a softball when he was eight years old. It changed his life and the way people saw him. I picked up a softball, found out I could play, and the kids all of a sudden started saying, hey, you know, this guy's one of us, and it turned the tables. So the next time in gym class, I climbed the rope to the ceiling, first kid in the class to do that, uh, without my legs, because I didn't have it, it was all arm. <laughs> Baseball is Dave's first love. It has brought him recognition and has given him a chance to prove to others that a handicap can be overcome, no matter what the odds. It happened, it's over with, and uh, pick up the pieces and, and do what you can do with what you've got. What a terrific guy. You know, they discovered the po sock polio vaccine one month after he came down with polio. Amazing. What kind of manager is he? He's a tough one. Glenn, because uh, he says if, if there's a player with two good arms and two good legs who doesn't live up to his potential, he's in big trouble.